Got a 15 La Fonda CRV with a boot, 56,000 miles on her. We're gonna do an Earl change and a little brake inspection for her bike. Some wishy wash. Perfect pour. Perfect pour. Precision. The skill, the precision, the accuracy. Check these air filters. That's looking real nice. Drive belt, looking good. Coolant, very nice. We like that. Wiper blades, looking real nice. Sneak up in here. And we're gonna peek a gander at this bad boy. Come here. She's a wee bit stuck. Wow. Yeah, there we are. There she is. Hello. That is solid, medium, rare. We will mark that at a yellow caution. Get your ass back in there. Moving on. Rear insert, aftermarket, looking real nice. Pick the tread right quick. It's a Buddha 9, 10 on the inner. That's a Buddha 10 and a 10. Take these bad boys off right quick. a gander at this new STS Auto Design lug nut holder. This is the first gen right here. You can see the steep angles on the lip of the tray. Makes it a little hard to grab the lug nuts out of it. So the updated one has a real nice uh, taper on that tray and only two bar magnets instead of three. So much easier to grab the lug nuts out of the new updated one. So check that out, STS Auto Design, link in my bio. Use code TEVIDEOS10 for 10% off of that bad boy. got going on here a little under 10 niner okay niner niner and a uh, niner interesting Give these a little swappy swap here. A little crisscross applesauce. Beep bop boop. And pow. Let's go ahead and peek the pads. Take a seat for this one. Stick these in these lug stud holders. They're nice. Out you go. Out you go. In your little home. Yeah, we're just gonna peek a gander here at this inner pad. Whoop. Son of a bitch. Grab this dingus. Set you over here. Huh? Get this inner pad out. Pad wear is looking pretty even. And we got a boot. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. A little less than four. Oh, yeah. It's about three millis to the uh, sensor there, bud. A little less. So we will call that uh, two five. Peek this bad boy. And yeah, that's, that's about three millimeters. 
to the sensor. So 2.5, three millis, and we pivot. Little discoloration on the rotors there, bud. Just gonna take you off right quick. Come on. Come on, Susan! Nice and gentle, but firm at the same time here. Stick that bad boy back in there. Nice even wear on that. And uh, that's looking like a uh, two milli. Show me what you got. Eh, it's about 2.5 millimeters to the sensor. All right, one more for you, bud. Come here. Come on out, don't be shy. Yeah. Shimmy shake. Some persuasion here, bud. And that, looking like a, uh, about a 2.5 milli as well. So we're gonna give an option to replace the front and rear pads and resurface, assuming the rotors are thick enough. They sure look thick enough. Let's see. Zero this guy out. Take this pad right quick. Show me what you got. 0 0.9745, 0 0.9745. Take this bad boy out. 0.977, so 0.9745. Ugh, front wheel drive. New rotor for front wheel drive is gonna be 0.984 inches. Refinish limit is 0.906. So we are more than thick enough to cut the front. Peek the rear at here. Reset, not sure why you're flashing at me. Point three five eight. Okay, and we got point three five three. All right. Refinish limit is point two nine five. So we got some thick rears. Moving on. Use the Vim ratchet, little flip, little flop. Lovely no splash shield situation on the 15 CRV. Love that. Front wheel drive, brother. Brother, ugh. What's that? What is that, brother? Oh, she's on there. She's on there. Let's go ahead and pivot this right about there. Give this a gentle. And uh, yeah. it's pretty on there, bud. Let's go with the, uh, the vice method right here. We're just gonna tighten you down a wee bit. Come on, Susan. Come on, Penelope. Just a little grippy grip there. Here you go. Here we go. That wasn't so hard. Yeah. <sighs> She's tight. We're gonna use the baby side cutters right here. A little bit of persuasion. Yep. That's just, uh, yeah, that took care of that. Moving on. New washer for your butt. Whew. Bare hands. Quest filter. Yeah! <sighs> Strongest man in the universe. Without a doubt, dangly magnetus on a stick. I'm gonna go ahead and twist this filter off with ease, just like that. And uh, new filter for you, bud. I'm just gonna take a little sample. Thanks. And drop this down. And we're 
just gonna slide you right up on in there. Give her a nice little yeah! And that's looking real nice. Check the uh, tire pressures real quick. Come here, bud. Come here. Show me what you got. 28. That is a wee bit low. We're gonna send her straight to 36. Show me what you got. 27. And we're gonna set you right at 36. There we are. Show me what you got. 26. There you go. One more for you, bud. Let's see, 27. Ooh, 29. How about uh, 36 for you, bud? There we go. I like to set the pressures a little bit high, especially because it's winter time now. It's warm in the shop, so when this car sits outside, the PSI is gonna drop a wee little bit, and we will compensate. A return. Back into your home. Raggy poo and some raz. A little cappuccino for you, bud. Huh? And uh, 30 foot poons. <laughs> Done with you. A little bit more rad. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And that's looking mint. Yeah. Four point six KT quartz. Got a boot there. Uh huh. Good flow. Good flow. All up in there. Jingle jangle. Pivot. Change of the angle. And a cappuccino for your bud. Start you on up. And we're gonna let that engine earl cycle for a moment here. Double check that I reset the oil life, and I sure did, 100%. And let's give her a little checky poo. Mmm. Toasted dipstick, very nice. Show me what you got. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We like that? All right. Simba. Here's a final look at the recommendations for the 15 CRV. We got uh, coolant service, transmission fluid, front and rear brakes, and resurface. Calling the uh, cabin filter green since it's not that bad. So, uh, quick little thousand bucks for you, buy. Oh yeah, and uh, for all the people who are gonna say, this car doesn't need brakes and I shouldn't recommend brakes. This uh, program, My Karma, will automatically populate a recommendation at a three, two, one, or a zero. So you can see five, four, green. As soon as we get to three, it's gonna say yellow and pop up an op code for front brakes. So we are giving that option to do front brakes. Yellow is a caution and red means they need to be replaced right now. So some options for brakes for you, bud. Very nice.